it's time to go beyond plus ultra for the season seven penultimate episode of Boku no Hero Academia. Uh, let the tears flow. Yes. Quite a lot of minus arts, though. I'm still waiting because I, I, well, well, you know what? We'll get there. We'll get there. From I've got, I've got things to say. Just from the flow of this episode and the trailer that we got at the end, I honestly thought they would split this up in the last two episodes. No, this is nowhere near as important as All Might versus All for One. I I would never have thought that. This is too that's too important of a thing. Okay, because the only reason I was thinking that is having all the major fights in season eight and all like the wrap up fights at the end of season seven. Mm-hmm. That's the way I was kind of picturing it going down, but it seems that we're going to have a little bit of the final fight next time, but we're going to have to talk about Ochiko and Toga now. Uh, Little Lost Lovers. Yes. So Toga's sad because, uh, because Dobby's dead, or, you know, unknown, really. Not sure if he's actually dead or not. All the others are captured, which I'm a little disappointed that they didn't actually show that happening. Like, we see Jiro and Froppy caught and uh, Ochigo. We don't see that. Don't know how that happened, but it happened, apparently. Mm-hmm. Off camera. And uh, the literal entire plot of this is basically just rehash the situation of, like, ah, remember? She doesn't love them enough, so she can't copy the other people's powers. Uh, and Dochiko wants to talk. So that that's literally the entire episode is just, I want to have a heart to heart. Well, that's it for the episode. See you next time. The sad part is that's not wrong. We do get a bit more of like Toga's backstory, but not a lot. A lot of it's just parents, like, like no one understanding her and no one, uh, giving her any kind of. Treating her like a human, essentially. Like a person. Doesn't matter if it was family, friends, or anyone else. I could see her quirk, if she was raised differently, being a good spy quirk. It could. The only issue is, right, like, she'd have to learn about the person. Like everything she could possibly gather from them Mm -hmm. other than looks and potentially quirk now uh she can't like know all of their shit yeah there's that there's also the fact that she needs to like the person enough there's that side of it i thought it was to use their quirk oh yeah she can't change into them because she doesn't love them enough nope and to use the quirk, she needs to, like, desperately love them, or what? Like, I, I don't know exactly what the difference is between using the quirk and then, like, using, uh, just, just using the form. I'm not 100% sure on what the threshold is, or if it's just, oh, it's evolved to this point that we can use it now. Because she does turn into Jiro at one point. She does, but she doesn't have the ability to use that quirk. Because Jiro is not one that I thought she would love. I was confused by that. That yeah. was new. That threw me off a little bit too. Uh, so we have a scene with Wild Wild Pussycats trying to hold back the twice tsunami? Yeah, it didn't last long. About two seconds and they're swallowed. Yeah, and somehow Hawk is still conscious. Just... Waiting, wing blade oh, like in fucking, hand. A weak little breeze is going to knock him over. He's he's dead as soon as someone hits. I'm just like, Hawks, how are you still standing, dude? Barely. Probably all that training he had is the only thing keeping him going. 
Yeah, and reality says, like, hey, Toga, talk to me. It's time to talk. Finally. I'm sorry for being late. There's also the, the shit ton of CGI, which really doesn't help in this fight. I mean, there's so many twices, and it would... I understand the reason, but it definitely, like, takes you out of it. The way they did the CG in some of the scenes was just such a jarring thing. Especially because they pull out so far and it's literally just looking like a fucking uh, pile of ants at one point when you're getting the sky shots of it. Yeah, and we <clears throat> we find out that Toga's feelings aren't too because they're clouded with her bloodlust. Well, they're not pure. I wouldn't say not true, but they're not pure anymore, which is probably fucking over her ability to use their quirks. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, she'd be using Yoravity's quirk against her. Do you think that she actually did love Shigaraki and Dobby at one point, but that changed to something else? And now it's not like pure love anymore? I don't know if it's that or if it's just it was never truly love in the way that it was with the others. Like, think about it, right? A lot of what we talk about in this episode is smiling, right? We've never really seen genuine smiles from any of the others. Twice had a genuine smile at one point with her. We've seen genuine smiles with her when she was, like, spying on them and shit at one point. Mm -hmm. Like, the one time that did work was literally because it was a nobody nobody else knew. And because she was on her own. Not with anyone that that person knew. You know, when she was uh, copying Glamour Girl in in the one tournament arc. Oh, uh, I think it was the it was the hero license exam. Yes. When she snuck into that. So she genuinely loved Cammy at that point. Potentially, we don't know because we never really saw. But it it has to be implied, I guess, because we never saw anything between them. And how was Jin smoking through his mask? You can't suck smoke through a mask. Oh. We did it for like three years. Like, breathing through a mask. Okay. But just the fact that, like, the cigarette was held, like, so neatly in there. And back when we were wearing COVID masks, I I mean, you're, you're dealing with more of, like, a nylon thing, I would think, than you are, like, the stiffness of a COVID mask. Maybe in that sense. Okay, but I have you not played. Did they have book socks when you were going to school? I'm trying to remember. I, I think Rachel may have had some, but at that point, I was like, "Eh, screw trying to cover these books. Okay, yeah. So like, you can breathe through those really easily. I could see the same thing being true if that's what that's meant to be. Okay, I if it's material like that. Okay, I can kind of see him managing to smoke through that. That'd be my guess, anyway. Anyway, League of Villains backstory, sad, sad. Ochiko gets stabbed. Oh, no. That surprised me a bit. That she, like, got stabbed as bad as she did. I'm surprised she wasn't able to block it. That That's more what I was surprised by. Or, like, you know, deflect the hand away a little bit and get, make it more of, like, a superficial hit than a direct hit. And the villains were talking about, hey, Togo, you should have a villain name. Villain names are cool. And did it twice, like, recommend Pikachu or something? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't spelled the right way, but, you know, close enough. But she wanted to be herself because she didn't want to hide behind a name. Yeah. She'll just be herself to, you know, be able to live freely, if that's how you want to look at it that way. Mm-hmm. Anyway, more tickety-talk-talk. Talk. And then we get to the point... Is this it? Here? Yeah. I uh, think hold on, hold on. It. Just one second. I'm just skimming through the um manga description, and in the manga, twice recommends Lickitung as a name for her. I don't know if I agree with that one, because her dung tongue doesn't always hang out like that. Okay, but it's still another Pokemon reference. It's a Pokemon reference. I just don't know if I agree with that one. 
so yeah, uh, we get to see something that slightly upsets me. Okay, yes. So we get to see the whole point of like the uh, the awakening, I guess you could call it, of Uderdakta's quirk, right? A second awakening? Because didn't it something happen and to cause it to evolve back in season five or six? Uh, are you in fact thinking of Toga, who was using her quirk at the time? No. Later on in this episode, um, Uyaka says, this is like when I almost died back No, there. that's Toga. That is Toga. Well, shit, I was confused. Yeah, no, that's that's when Toga, uh, like, awakened the ability to use quirks with hers. Mm. Uh, I'm more mad this isn't something that we were seeing more. <laughs> Like, like everybody's like quirk awakening, or... Quirks triggering when on the brink like this, mm. right? Like, it was set up to be this big thing with Toga. If all we're ever going to get out of it is just this, Toga and Uraraka, I'm going to be disappointed. Well, um, prepare to be disappointed, because, um... We it's have never coming like, back, is it? We have, like, 12 episodes left of the series... Uh, I would not say anything would evolve more, because who's left to awaken their quirk? Uh, my thought would be Deku. Like, awaken it more? Unlock some other function within it, maybe. He's already like we just unlocked got... all seven quirks. We just got the whole... Well, here's the thing, right? Like, we just got the whole idea of, uh, one, it happens when you're near death. Two, people being born with quirks that are going to be stupidly overpowered that they can't control. Right? Um, like, the newscaster mentioned the quick singularity the theory. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Something uh... is going to happen, I would think, with an awakening that triggers to try and fix that. I don't know how... But there has to be something, because it's been a background plot point for a while. You know what? I just had a very sad thought. They will never discuss that much as an answer. Like, we will never get a full answer to how they will solve that. Like I said, that, that'll upset me, because that's been a background like plot point of, like, we need to fix this shit, or it's gonna get bad. It's, it's going to happen, whether that's today or in a couple of years' time. It's going to happen. Yeah. You know, I also will be very disappointed if it doesn't get discussed. And mm -hmm. I'm setting myself up to be disappointed next season. But I'm holding out a sliver of hope that something happens in the epilogue arc where it gets discussed. Mm-hmm. I gotta be real upset if they pull a, uh, oh, what was it? The one with the orphans being fed to the demons? Um. Uh, uh, what is it? What is made it? Made in Abyss? No. No, it's not that. Oh. Uh, I keep wanting to say Dead Man Wonderland, but it's not that one. Let me see here. Promise Neverland? That's it. That's okay. the one. Yeah, don't give me a Promise Neverland like ending where they just fucking flashcard their way through the ending of like the rest of the series. That sucked that they did that. It was awful. Fucking PowerPoint the ending. Fuck you. Don't give me that with this epilogue. Anyway, heartfelt talk, Uraraka's quirk evolves, and everything that was touching Uraraka and was then touching each other is now floating. Kind of like how the K evolved to be like that. Yeah, to, to straight up have like just contact with anyone also affected triggering it. Uh, and I kind of liked when Floppy was trying to make Toga just calm down a little bit and saying, um, what was the line? Like, 
Uraka wants to talk to you, and talking is much harder than killing somebody. Mm-hmm. So there was one thing I was very curious about, too. Like, not sorry, I, I kind of uh, jumping to a different topic was like the time limit on Toga's ability, right? I was sitting here within like the first five minutes being like, okay, how long has this actually been going on for? Because we know she has a hard time limit of like 20, 25 minutes based on what she said mm -hmm. when she first drank the blood. Like nobody else knows that, but we know that. And we have no idea what time scale has happened since she drank it. That's what I was half wondering too. Apparently she just ran out, which makes me wonder, even if she hadn't been stopped, would she have just run out of steam before she had the chance anyway? Potentially. Because, like, she was, she was literally, like, minutes, I would say, away. Like, two minutes or something at the start of this fight or whatever. Because she's already starting to lose the twice outfit. Yeah, and then, um, Uraka was saying, like, I happily offer my blood for you after we talk. Mm-hmm. And then we see them as small children just just like staring into each other's eyes and just like being kids I, 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 I... do we see the monster like mentality of, of Toga kind of like shatter to the childlike self again which who knows maybe it's going to be similar for fucking Shigaraki at the end who knows maybe we're going to have that like shatter to the child inside the little child that's throwing a temper tantrum all over. Fight over. Done. Sad, crying times. Ochiko's probably gonna bleed out unless somebody does something. Uh, yeah. Is Ochiko dead? Doesn't seem like it, but if there's not, like, quick first aid to her, she probably will bleed out. Like, she got stabbed in the stomach. That's not generally a lethal blow, but you can bleed out. It is not immediately lethal. She was coughing up blood. So much blood. Well, yeah, because it stabbed her in the stomach. And her stomach's being filled with blood. Right. I... Like, it wasn't lungs. It would have to have been higher up. That was definitely, like, stomach. At, at worst, diaphragm. Right. But I am... I am not sure now. Okay. I mean, they were still talking to each other all the way through the fall until we cut away. Yeah. I am going to guess Toga will save Uraka. She might. I don't know if she's going to be able to. She doesn't. She's literally naked. She has nothing to fucking suture up a wound. Do you think she might have some Uraka blood on her person? Somewhere? She could literally just suck it out of the wound. I don't, I don't know why she needs a vial. She can suck it out of the wound. No, 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 no. I mean to give her a blood transfusion. What would that do if you don't seal the wound? Fair point. I... Mm, because I can't see Uraka dying. So let's just say she doesn't. I don't know why you need to find a reason. There's nothing saying that she did. Dude, we speculate! I I'm mean, just... yeah, we speculate, but we speculate within what makes sense. I don't think, I don't think her dying here makes sense. Okay, good. We're on the same page. She won't die. So why were you the one to bring it up then? My mind is going in weird places, okay? Ugh. My mind is just bouncing around at all the potential possibilities. Also, we see a preview of them laying next to each other. And it looks like she's half Ochiko right now. Yeah. So... Anyway, back, back to Final Fight. All Might versus uh, All for One. Yay, that's next. There's really nothing else. Although... Just control Center being upset. Which we already knew. <laughs> if people would appreciate Toga's smile more... Do you think she would have turned out differently, too? Because everybody was saying, what an evil smile, what a horrible smile. Except if Ochiko. she was treated like a person, yeah, probably. And I was it brought up before that Deku looked like one of Toga's previous crushes? I think you looked into it before, but I don't know that it was ever fully mentioned. 
Do you think if Deku would have been like, Oh yeah, Togo, you're cute, let's date. That would have just made her do a 180? I don't, I think it would have to be genuine for her to believe him. Mm, okay. But yeah, uh, brief episode, briefer than normal, but yeah, um, I'm looking forward to next week to see how much of this Toga scene is left and how much All Might are we getting? Uh, answer's probably like two minutes for, uh, for Toga. The rest is probably All Might because I don't think they're, uh, they're going to cut it short. I would think it's going to be a full episode. Right. Gotta, gotta end on something fancy. I wonder how the next episode will end. Oh, that's the question. Yeah. Is it going to end halfway through and leave us on a massive cliffhanger? Hopefully not. Hopefully it will end at a decent point where it's not like um huge laser is coming to, towards All Might and he just says, huh, look at that, and it just ends. It just it just freeze frames. Huh. Well, I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> do, 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 roundabout. <laughs> just immediately. <laughs> That's me. All might. And I sure look like I'm in a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, want to know how I get out of this? Stay tuned for next season. You're right. <laughs> uh, well, we will cover next season after next week. So, yeah. come back with us for what I believe should be the season finale. Yay! I'm sorry, I can't, I can't muster all of the uh, excitement. Yeah, right y- now. you're sick, it's fine. Yeah, I do apologize to anyone who's having to listen to me and be like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Yeah, I've, I've, I've caught some kind of bug. Not COVID, luckily, but something. All right, hopefully you'll be better next week. I hope so. Goodbye. Bye.